So, hello again. Um, you find us here at Adastana under the big oak. Uh, we have been riding for three days from Budderfield. We left Budderfield on Sunday uh, and then we've had uh, a further two nights here at Adastana uh, in a sort of retreat condition. Uh, so we're now on Friday. So it's been a week since we left, almost. Um, we've gained two new pilgrims uh, who joined <laughs> us at Butterfield uh, or just after Butterfield. So I thought we could just introduce them um, and then talk about how it's going. So on my left, oh, thank you, Kit. who are you? Who the hell am I? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm Matt, uh, also from the Croydon Buddhist Centre. Um, uh, unlike these guys, I'm extremely new to cycle touring. I've never done it at all. Uh, the last two days of cycling were the longest uh, cycle rides I've ever done in my life. Um, and I've been really surprised how, uh, how far we've been able to go and how uh, up for it my body and my mind seems to have been. Um, yeah, I, I, was, I was there last year when the idea for this, uh, this bike tour first came about and my initial response was, oh gosh, I'm going to have to do this, aren't I? Uh, knowing that it was the kind of thing that I would want to say yes to, but also it felt like quite a, uh, a stretching thing to do. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I saw that it would be such a wonderful opportunity to forge a deeper friendship with these guys uh, and to connect with the, with the, the wider Sangha across the UK. Um, which has definitely proven to be true already in this short time. And the fact that we've got uh, the best part of a month to go still uh, is very exciting to me. Thank you, Matt. Um, Hi, I'm James. I'm also from the uh, Croydon Buddhist Centre. Um, yeah, why did, I, why did I agree to do this? Um, <laughs> I've, I've done uh, bike packing before a few times in the past, um, a couple of times in the UK and abroad. So I already knew that um, you know, as a format for sort of tourism, I, I, you know, it's something I like doing. Um, it's something I like, you know, when I have holiday time, I'm happy to do that kind of thing. Um, and yeah, when, when I first heard uh, Seb was talking about this kind of trip, um, very enthusiastically, I think it was at the men's day, I kind of just got swept away with that enthusiasm and, and sort of uh, <laughs> signed myself <laughs> up on the spot. But it, it, kind of, it felt more like um, maybe agreeing something that may or may not materialise. Um, and yeah, here we are now. Um, uh, my, my sort of motivations, other than just, just doing a bit of cycling, um, I'm fairly new to, to Buddhism. Um, and I, I, I just saw that as an opportunity to uh, sort of deepen my engagement with the Sangha and with Buddhism in general. Um, and I think Seb's personality as well really, really drew me in. Um, <laughs> a little bit of um, blowing smoke up your ass now. Um, oh, you can, can you bleep that out? <laughs> Um, Definitely not. <laughs> apologies. I'll, I'll be clean from now on. Um, yeah, I just I think I, I saw something in Seb, and I knew some of the other uh, the guys that were going to be involved. Uh, they, they had something um, about them that I think they they would have also gained through through practicing. Uh, so I was just curious to sort of see what what I could learn learn there. Um, so yeah, it's 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 sort of um, I, I feel like I've got a lot a lot to learn on this journey. Huh. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it's really lovely to have you both here. Um, joining us. It's been really great so far uh, and yeah I'm, I'm personally really looking forward to that that connection deepening um, as we continue. So uh, we've been at Adastana for uh, I'd say about three days now uh, in total um, in, in more direct retreat conditions uh, and we've kind of emerged at this theme of going forth um, uh, within the group um, so I thought it'd be just nice if all of us kind of say something about how this journey so far, I mean, it's still very early days, so who knows what's going to happen, um, but how this journey has kind of uh, typified the spiritual path, how maybe it's been 
uh, growthful, perhaps challenging, um, perhaps just kind of inspiring in some way. Um, I'm not going to pick who goes first, I'm just going to let whoever wants to go first, go first. I'll go first. Mm -hmm. Yay. Um, so I'm just clearing the smoke from <laughs> <laughs> myself. <laughs> um, yeah, I think someone, uh, when we got here, uh, asked me sort of what's the main point of this. And my initial reaction was to say, oh, well, it's fundraising. Because uh, that used to be my career and it's something I'm very passionate about and I enjoy doing. And then I kind of stopped and I thought, oh, no, it's not actually that at all. Um, that's a part of it. But, but like really at its core, I think it's a Sanger building project. It's a Sanger building idea. Um, and so for me, that's what the practice has, has been about. Um, and... I, I was just struck last night. Uh, I sort of walked out um, after a movie night and I went and, and sat by the, by the burial mound of Ergin Sangharachita and I, I was just really touched by the fact that, you know, we basically haven't had to sleep outside yet. Uh, we came from this incredibly beautiful festival. Um, we've stayed with sort of, we, you know, we've made it to this, this Im immensely beautiful place, Adastana, and I've just been corresponding with our next few nights, and we're basically not going to have to sleep outside for one, two, three, four, five, six, about eight or nine nights or something, because there's just communities who are just opening their doors and saying, yeah, come right in, uh, it will be absolutely fine, we'll feed you, we'll put you up, and just overwhelmed by the emotion um, of that kind of welcoming uh, and that all kind of spawning from uh, from this one sort of man, this one practitioner um, and how we're receiving the benefits of so many people's hard work uh, and for me it's felt like a kind of coming home in a certain way, it's kind of weaving these different oh you're, I've met someone from the Nottingham Sangha, I've met someone from the Sheffield Sangha and now it's like oh we're going to be in those places and so weaving all of those experiences together to kind of really feel uh, the network uh, of, of Sangha, of community that's spread across, across the country. Um, and just how uh, enlivening that is and how like, heartwarming that is. And as well, the bonds that are forming already in just a couple days. Like I think Matt checked in the other day and said, it's been 48 hours since we left. And I, <laughs> it just was like, whoa, um, that's, that's a crazy amount of stuff that's happened in such a short amount of time. And already I'm like, oh yeah, we're, we're pilgrims. You know, this is, a, this is a team of pilgrims and I love every single one of the people on this trip already. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's what it's been all about for me. Uh, yeah. I think I might... Um yeah, I think I really resonate with that. Uh, we were looking at the Dasadama Sutta the other day and just this second point is like, I rely on the world. Mm. I'm dependent on the world. Um, it really touched me when we, we, we contacted that and that's been very evident in this trip so far. Um, I think in another way that really touches me is that just you're much more close to reality mm -hmm. <coughs> in some way mm -hmm. when you're doing things like this. Mm -hmm. uh, when, you're, when I'm living my stationary life in my house, uh, there's a sort of disconnection. Uh, I'm kind of behind these walls, uh, food is being delivered to me, or I'm having to go to a shop and exchange money, and there's all this kind of convolution that's going on. Uh, there's all these systems that build up. Um, but when we're out on the road, you're kind of just you're just in it a bit more. Um, uh, you know, it's very simple, but just little moments of stopping to pick blackberries and things like that. It's like a real moment where you're just aware that there's this vast ecosystem of beings, both human and non-human. Um, and we're just another one in that. Uh, and we're kind of in this beautiful interplay. Um, 
our bodies are moving, we're kind of passing through the world, it's kind of rushing past us. Uh, and as Seb pointed out, uh, at every spot, it's kind of providing, it's giving, uh, and we are dependent on that. Um, feels like, yeah, a very, very special thing to reflect upon. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think for me, uh, well, in a sense, we've been trying to make this, uh, uh, this trip be in retreat conditions, or at least semi-retreat conditions. So, you know, at, at a certain level, you could look at it as, uh, Oh, it's it's spiritual practice because we're still doing meditation and we're doing puja and you know, uh, we're, we're doing life stories between us. These kind of practices that uh, a lot of us in Sri Ratna will already know and uh, obviously practice all the time. Uh, but I think what really sets it apart is the fact that it's in the context of a going forth. You know, uh, you know there's a reason why uh, our meditation practice very often goes deeper in retreat conditions versus at home. Uh, because at least there's something of a going forth when you go to a, a place like a retreat center and there are certain conditions and you're really there to do one thing. Uh, so in a, in a similar way, uh, or maybe in, in, a, in a different kind of way, but we're, you know, we're moving from the known to the unknown, from the, the comfortable to the uncomfortable uh, when we're moving in, you know, when we're in these conditions of uh, of being on our bikes all day and in a new place all the time. Something about that context of uh, kind of being on the edge of what we know, of what, what's comfortable for us, uh, I think for me at least has provided an edge to my practice and it somehow it's a context that, that meditation and ritual and uh, kind of, yeah, mining the depths of uh, what it means to relate to other people when that's done in a physically challenging context, uh, yeah, amidst changing environments and coming into contact with different people all the time, um, it, it's a it's a deepening in a in a different and quite mysterious way, um, and my sense is that that will unfold in just a greater greater extent as we really sink deeper and deeper into this trip. Like I'm already really feeling, you know, the things I've just described, I'm really feeling that a lot having been, you know, four or five days in. Uh, and I can really see how, um, yeah, continuing this kind of lifestyle for another several weeks uh, is going to make something uh, sink even deeper than that. So in a way, it's quite hard to put my finger on exactly what it is that mm. makes this spiritual practice, but I feel like something of what I've said hopefully evokes that a little bit. Mm. 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 Um, yeah, it was really nice listening to everything you all said. Um, I resonate with a lot, a lot, with all of it really. Um, and it was, yeah, very sort of detailed and insightful and, and sort of captured a lot of things that I've been feeling. Um, particularly what you said about confronting life more fully um, yeah I just feel like I've I just feel like I've, I'm more alive since we've been on this trip um, and I think a big part of that also comes from that it's really felt like a challenge I've really found the, 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 these, these last few days since we set off really challenging but not in the way that I expected it to be challenging um, you know, I think when we're, when we're encountering people, people often comment on, oh, the amount of miles we're doing and the, the physical toll on the body that it's going to take. And, you know, that, that's the sort of, that's, that's the sort of um, the challenge we're overcoming. But for me, it's, it's been much more um, deeper, more personal, more sort of emotional, and, and especially um, in the way that it's forcing me it's forcing, but it's, I'm, I'm really open to it. I really like the way it's doing this, it, to be open to, other, to encountering other people and, and receiving hospitality and, and um, giving what I can in return for that hospitality and, and sort of uh, just, just um, yeah, confronting other people, being with other people. Uh, it's something that I, I find challenging. It's, it's definitely one of the things that's drawn me to Buddhism. And yeah, I really feel like it's sort of loosening up some of the, the narratives and the, the kind of 
barriers I, I put on myself to, to do that more fully. Um, I mean, certainly with with just uh, bonding with you guys, that's that's really really helped in that respect, and 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 that's given me confidence to then try that out more with you know other other members of the wider sangha that we're that we're that we're encountering and. Um, yeah, it's everyone's just been so kind. Um, so it's yeah, it's 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 made it it's made it possible for me to sort of start to open up in that way. Um, so yeah, for for me, that's that's the way that I that I'm sort of going forth, and that's what I think I've got most to gain from this this month. And I'm really really genuinely excited to see how all of us really, but as well myself develop and you know how I might feel about um, <laughs> for instance talking to people I don't know you know I think <laughs> I'm looking for yeah I think I think in a month's time it'll be different to now yeah yeah thank you very much um, everyone uh, so where are we going next so next we are off to Birmingham today and then we've got a hundred kilometre ride to Nottingham the next day um, then from Nottingham to Sheffield we'll have another little break in Sheffield and then we'll go over the peaks to Manchester um, so that's where we're going next and yeah I just want to take this last little moment just to acknowledge the rarity of a, a situation like this coming about uh, you know all of us were born in human bodies on a planet that supports life. Just that alone is a pretty uh, magnificently small chance of that happening. Um, on top of that, we've all been born under conditions in which we've encountered the Dharma. And then on top of that, we've all got the bodies that are capable of doing something like this and the courage and the will to, to come together and do it. Uh, and then there's just been a community that's opened its doors at every single step. And the like, astronomically small likelihood of something like that happening is just absolutely amazing. Mm. Um, so I just wanted to take a moment to acknowledge that. Um, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, and as always, I know this isn't just a fundraiser, but I feel I should plug it. Uh, we are raising money for Al Foxton Park uh, yeah. and there'll be a link below. Give us loads of money, thank you. Give us loads of money. <laughs> We're working really it's hard. It's really hard. <laughs> <laughs>